What's up everybody, it's Joe with J Blake Photo. Um, I'm still here on the island of Maui. Uh, we've got a couple more days left. And uh, I decided to come out here in the middle of the day in the harshest of lighting conditions. The sun is literally directly above us and see what I can get landscape photography wise. We've got these beautiful puffy clouds out here and I don't know if you can see it, but off here in the distance, we have the island of Molokai, which has just these vibrant green cliffs um, that, that are just really reflecting the light wonderfully. And I thought it would be fun to come out here with the long lens and try to shoot maybe some black and white, so high contrast, middle of the day landscape scenes uh, to see just kind of what we could get. Again, I'm right above the cliff face. You can hear the ocean, you can hear the wind. I'm right above the cliff face that I've been using for my one spot challenge. So I'm still in the same place. I'm just, I'm photographing now a new perspective, uh, which is something off in the distance. And then I thought after this, maybe I would head down to the cliffs and see if I can't get some awesome photos of folks jumping off the cliffs, uh, doing flips and dives and all sorts of stuff. But first I'm gonna try to catch some clouds, so that dappled light that's on top of uh, this island out here in the distance, one of the smaller, less populated islands here in the Hawaiian island chain. So I've got my long lens um, and I've got it on my KNF tripod that I've been reviewing here while I've been on the island. Um, it's a carbon fiber tripod, goes up to 60 inches. Uh, the only issue that I'm having with it right now, it's been super steady, even in this wind, it's actually very steady, uh, is that the mount on the top has become very loose uh, and I do not have a hex head wrench with me to tighten it. So I'm gonna have to find one. Um, but in the meantime, the shots that I'm gonna be taking because of this light won't require a lot of steadiness, just a little bit of steadiness. And so I should be fine. Uh, but I think I'm going to throw a circular polarizer on the end of my 70 to 200, and I have that adapted uh, with the EF RF adapter to my EOS R. So first I'm going to throw on that filter. The thing that's actually interesting me the most is the shadows coming off of those clouds that are above the island out there. And so what I really want to try to do is catch some of that dappled light. I'm probably actually gonna be shooting uh, f at first in a vertical format. The wind out here is just battering me, uh, but I've got, I've got my camera set to ISO 100 F8 in this case, and I'm shooting at about 1 150th, 1 1 125th of a second to 1 200th of a second to catch the, uh, the light out there in the distance with my circular polarizing filter, uh, and I'm gonna be just adjusting that to get the best quality of that light. So with the amount of wind that I'm seeing right now and also just the, um, the quick variations that are happening on the clouds out there, I'm actually gonna switch to handheld. Um, to make that work, since I'm not gonna be using the tripod, I'm gonna up my ISO just a little bit uh, so that I can have a faster shutter speed to counteract any issues. Now I am running uh, manual focus right now um, and that is so that I can uh, manually dial it in when I'm on the tripod. I'm gonna switch it now to autofocus uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust the Canon autofocus on the Canon EOS R to catch these hills the way that I want them. Also, just to add a little bit more of a hard mode, I'm shooting in a one-to-one -one crop. Uh, of course, that's a non-destructive crop. I have my camera set to crop my image a display in that way, but the actual raw files will still have the pixels of the whole sensor. I'm also shooting in a monochromatic style, though again, the raws will come out with full color, uh, but they'll be preset to monochrome to black and white, but I can always adjust that later in post if I don't end up liking it. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm generally happy with that. Um, I'm really kind of curious to see how those look. 
And again, I know normally you wouldn't come out and shoot in the middle of, you know, what is effectively midday, but the brightest part of the day. But I thought that it would be fun just to see what I could find. And honestly, just those cloud formations over that island looked really nice. And I don't know, it's been a while since I've done a black and white. So I thought it'd be fun. So now I'm actually going to head out over here, out to these rocks and get some kind of action shots of folks jumping off the cliff. I'm going to switch from the EOS R to the R6 for stills, since it does have that 12 to 20 frame per second uh, option. And I'm going to switch to my Tamron uh, f2.8 lens so I can get that nice creamy depth of field. So I will not be doing video of that since I've got to climb down those rocks. Uh, so I'm going to pack everything up and go take those and then I'll, I'll show you those shots. <laughs> 